Italian. I'm Italian. I'm happy most of the time. The other day, someone came up to me and goes, yeah, man, you're Italian. You're always happy, but I'm German. I said, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I don't want you to be, like, always happy, but my goal is to raise your happiness meter just a drop, one little blip. I want to make you a little bit happier today and a little bit. So what I'm going to do is share with you share with you some amazing information about happiness. And it really isn't me talking. It came from Harvard University, okay? So they, they partnered. They partnered with Dr. Spielman, who is the head of positive psychology, and the team got together and created a course on happiness. They thought a few people would come, like it was a fluff course, right? The, cl the course sold out immediately, and there's a waiting list to this day, 10 years later, to get into the course. And so what I thought I would share with you this morning in our few minutes together is what they paid thousands of dollars to learn at Harvard in this class. It's not hard. As Jim Rowe would say, it's not hard to do, but it's easy not to do. Number one, gratitude. They studied gratitude for about six weeks. I mean, it was an amazing, amazing part of the course. But what we, they've learned is that you have to be grateful for little things. And so they want a, gradu gra excuse me, a gratitude ritual. That doesn't mean you walk around like Oprah, like, I have got an attitude of gratitude. Look at me, I'm so grateful. No, you got to write it down. Or you've got to have a time each day, a practice each day, where you stop and you meditate and you think of people in your lives, and I like to do it with work or family, who have brought you happiness the day before. Number two is social support. Social support means that you actually do face-to-face -face and you talk. We have found that face-to-face, -face, there are so many studies right now on face-to-face. -face. A lot of my companies, a lot of my tech companies that I work with, they're going back to face-to-face -face meetings again. They're going back to lunches together because what we're learning is that technology is great for certain things, but face-to-face -face gives you that connection. This one I love, random acts of kindness. Be nice. Do a random act of kindness. When you do something nice, this is what goes on. Because deep down inside, each one of you, I'm not a therapist, but I know this, there's a little voice inside of you that says, you are so dumb. You are stupid. You are not nice. There's this voice. I don't know where it comes from, but it's that little negative voice that says, why would you do that? Well, there you go. So you've got to end that voice by doing something nice, opening the door for someone. And then another voice comes in and says, look what he did. Look what she did. Look how nice she is. And so as those little voices inside say, oh, my God. You helped someone today. You got someone coffee. Someone brought me coffee this morning. Big random act of kindness. I was sitting there, put a big smile on my face. Not hard to do, but easy not to do. So we start to look at gratitude, social connections, random acts of kindness, and we begin to put rituals into our lives that remind us to do that. For me, it's a song. If I hear a certain song, if I hear happy, I'm going to walk out, get out of my car, and I'm going to be nice to somebody in the parking lot. Good morning. How are you? Because it's amazing how when you say someone's name and you just smile at them, you've made their day. Especially a new hire. Especially someone who isn't as secure in their job as you. When you just look them in the face and you, hey, how you doing? You make their day. Mm -hmm.